This week we're starting our stay at the Maricopa County uh, Regional Parks. This is White Tank um, Mountain Regional Park and we're here for a week and then we're going to move on to a number of, of the other regional parks in the county. Uh, these regional parks are really nice value for uh, camping in the Phoenix area. They, most of them are about $35 a night and they offer something different at each park. Usually a lot of great hiking. Um, there's one of them that has a reservoir so there's boating that's available there um, and horseback riding and different things. So we're going to show you these parks as we go along in the next few weeks uh, starting with White Tank Mountain. We just stopped in at the visitor center and library. It's Sunday, so the library is closed, but we are able to walk through the visitor center. They have a display of a lot of the animals in the area, um, some photographs, but they also have uh, some tanks with the uh, native snakes in there that you can visit. Um, they're actual live snakes, so um, that was kind of interesting. They also have a little bit of a gift shop. They had some scorpions there, so it was kind of cool. Um, Every one of these uh, regional parks have a little visitor center like this, and so they're kind of worth checking out to give you a little bit of history of the area. Something, you know, I was telling you about how the area um, was developed and everything. They're kind of cool. What's you? What are you up to, Monty? Gonna tell people about your campsite? This week we're staying at White Tank Mountain Regional Park in Weldon, Arizona, which is right near Surprise, Arizona. That would probably be the next biggest city. It's a very nice park. We're probably at staying here at a time when it's not real crowded because this would be considered Arizona's winter, although the weather has been spectacular. And today it's sunny, not a cloud in the sky, and high in the 70s. So another nice day. So we're gonna take a little walk around and um, show you the campsite. As you can see, it's very large and there is a fair amount of distance between you and the next campsite. So you have plenty of room to stretch out. We have plenty of room for Zephyr and Monty to hang out. The site we're on is very nice because you don't get the afternoon sun. The cost of the site was $35 a night. So that's very reasonable. It's probably on the lower end of the average. So yeah, it's very affordable. And um, like I said, this being the time of the year when it's really Arizona's winter, it's not very crowded. The park is open all year round and it's close to many amenities. The park offers several hiking trails of different difficulty levels. There's some that are very easy. I guess there's, we haven't done, we did one yesterday which was quite easy. But there are different levels of, you know, difficulty. You can also bike. There's a lot of biking available. You can bike on the pass. The paths are very well kept up, so you can bike on those as well. Auntie, what do you think of the park? We're going to go check out some of the trails here at the campground. This is this is the start of Ironwood Trail, but it, it only goes a little ways and it connects to other trails and we see where we end up. There's supposed to be some pretty difficult trails here, but this looks like an easy one. Right, so our, it's our first attempt at a trail in this park, so we'll go a little easier and take the dogs with us. Yep.
not too difficult. Yeah. I mean, it's rocky, but nothing really to climb over. You just have to be careful where you walk. It's also a very scenic walk with all the desert uh, cactus and other plants out here. We haven't seen any animals except maybe a lizard and a chipmunk. And a person on a bicycle. That was an enjoyable walk. Yeah, we just finished. I don't know how far did we go. I don't know. I didn't really keep track. Took a look at your watch. Does it stay? Oh, I don't know. Nope. Okay. Probably a couple miles. Yeah, we came across a neat ravine. We didn't go. Well, I don't know if there's a path to go across. There is. But anyway, it looked pretty deep. Yep. And then along our walk, we came upon a group family of deer including a baby deer and they had their eye on us while we had our eye on them and then they kind of they kind of ran off and because someone started barking yeah yeah i think you know he startled them yeah he's... but we we stared at each other for a little bit yeah yeah they were looking at us for a little while it was the first deer that we've seen. Yeah. So that was pretty neat. Well, head back for lunch. Yep. The dogs are tired. Yep. They need a drink. That's true. Our week here at White Tank Mountain has come to an end. It's really been a nice place to stay. Um, fairly convenient to a lot of things. You know, when you're out kind of full-time RVing, it's nice to be able to get close to an urban area where you can do shopping and take care of those things. You know, we had to do laundry, so we found a laundromat that wasn't too far away. And so we were able to take care of all those things this week while we were here. But now it's time to get everything packed up. I've got the bikes, I've got all the chairs, the rug. We've got Christmas lights underneath the trailer. The kayak has to go back on the roof because I took it off so we would be able to drive a little easier and not, you know, have a little better gas mileage. So that's all got to be put away. But I also want to show you the Airstream because while we were here, I spent a day and, well, not a whole day, but a part of a day. I spent some time kind of going over the, the damage area and pulled out the bumper and got the bumper straightened out a little bit so the rear compartment is now usable again. And swapped out the duct tape for a foil tape that a lot of people had recommended in the comments and, and such. That, does look a lot better because it's silver and it kind of blends in a little bit um, but I, I've been told that it it's, will seal much better and make sure we don't get moisture in there and the duct tape was actually after a couple weeks was actually starting to lift up a little bit around the edges so I don't think the duct tape would have lasted the full time period that we need to make sure that this temporary repair lasts so that before we can get it fixed next year. It's time to pack up the campsite we got quite a bit of stuff to put away chairs, bikes, kayak, all that stuff's got to be put away today. So we better get at it. Cause all you gotta smash like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make a time. Comment, say hi, hit the bell so I know I'll see you next time. Smash
Press like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make a time. Comment, say hi, hit the bell so I know I'll see you next time.